Hey everyone, okay, so oils and camping is what I'm talking about today. So my family and I, we love to camp. We camp several times throughout the summer. Um, and I am going to briefly show you what I bring camping. So I am gonna try to keep this brief because as I was collecting information and kind of thinking to myself what I actually use for camping, I am actually very surprised on how much I bring um, with me in terms of um, normal product that I would use. So um, the first thing I wanted to talk about is just packing a small bag of your oils. So just picking a few um, that you love. It's so tempting just to um, bring every single oil and you're like, oh, I never know what I'll need. Well, if you kind of stick to around the top 10, you're, you should be covered. Um, so in my little bag here, this is what I carry with me in my purse and I carry with me camping. So the only single oils I really bring in here, I've, I've on guard tea tree oil, I have Digest Zen, which is a must for any upset stomachs, um, especially for anyone you're camping with. If they have an upset stomach, you know, you tend to indulge in a lot of delicious food. Um, so having Digest Zen is amazing, especially to share with people. Um, I have lemon for our water in there. I also have wild orange because I love to bring my diffuser camping. So that's another thing. So we camp with electricity, so we are glampers. I guess you could say we have a trailer. Um, so if you have electricity, bring your diffuser with you. Um, it's so amazing to, I love having the diffuser going in my trailer, like with wild orange, peppermint, lemon, anything uplifting, invigorating, those citrus oils will be amazing. And at night too, keeping the same atmosphere for your kids, I think is very helpful with routine. Um, and using those sleep oils. I love lavender and Easy Air together, again, in the top 10. Um, I also love to use my diffuser for mosquitoes. So if we are outside playing cards or we are sitting by the campfire um, and we have electricity near us, we will run our diffuser um, right on our table. So we will, I will put Terra Shield right in there, the drops, the oil, which is doTERRA's repellent blend. Um, I'll put laven, um, lavender in there and I will put lemongrass in there is a great one. Eucalyptus is also great. Arbor Vitae is great, Geranium is great. All those essential oils are amazing um, in keeping away bugs. But if you wanna keep it simple, just bring your Terra Shield and Lemongrass are key ones um, that I diffuse outside of the trailer. They're not that nice smelling if you diffuse in the trailer, but outside um, around when you're cooking dinner or your meals, it's absolutely amazing to bring your diffuser. And if you don't have electricity, try to you can find a battery operative battery operated diffuser um, which are also amazing um, and so another the rollers that I bring are past tense for headaches um, if you've had a little too many cocktails by the campfire waking up the ne next morning using your past tense for any headache relief is awesome um, and then another one that I love to bring, I always bring Magnolia and Beautiful with me. So just because we're camping doesn't mean we can't smell nice. Um, and Magnolia and Beautiful are the oils um, that I will also bring. I also have Rose in here, but I that's Motivate. I have Rose in here as well because um, I absolutely love it too. But um, yeah, just remember, you don't have to smell gross just because you're camping. So. Uh, okay, so let me go through things that I bring. Okay, so um, things that I love to bring are the shampoo and conditioner in the small bottles. So um, you can use doTERRA's one liter bottle in your showers, but I like to bring these ones um, camping because they're, they're small, lightweight, and easy. Um, okay, so when you go camping, you use public showers. That's how we always use public showers. So you do not want to bring a bar of soap. So with experience with kids, they drop bars of soap. So that ends up in the bottom of a gross shower um, and picks up a lot of hair and sand and bugs. So you do not want to bring a bar of soap. What you can use is your doTERRA shampoo. I just use this as body wash. This is all we use. So I just bring these two and that's it and we're good to go. You can bring the conditioner. It's great for also shaving. So you don't have to bring shaving cream or anything like that. Um, another thing that I have is our owie spray. So this is great for any adults or kids that scrape, fall, injure themselves. You guys were biking, we're hiking, we're playing on the beach, we're picking up things, we're running. So always have your owie spray. It's great to disinfect and clean out any wounds. Um, I will link up all my recipes here uh, underneath this video for you guys. Um, I have our swimmer's ear. So my kids are fishes. So Claire loves to swim. My husband loves to swim. But if you get water in the ear and it becomes very irritating, and if you have a really bad earache, um, you will need your um, essential oil. So I have a swimmer's 
uh, roller that I love to bring. And again, for the swimmer's roller, you're just around the ear and down the neck. Um, and then you can even coat a cotton ball if the swimmer ear is really bad and put it in there and leave that to sit. Um, bug spray is a huge one. So I make my own bug spray. So depending if the bugs love you or they don't love you, bugs don't really, like I don't attract bugs. So what recipe works for me is my homemade one. You can go elaborate or you can go simple. A good standard one is just lemongra lemongrass, eucalyptus, and terra shield. And I mix about 15 of those in a two mil bottle. Again, I'll link up that recipe. doTERRA's Terra Shield is actually their bug repellent spray is on sale this month, so you can definitely just use um, this one, um, and it's amazing. A lot of comments I hear that people go through it fast, which is okay, that's awesome. Just reuse the bottle, so then when you have your Terra Shield or your lemongrass, just reuse it. Um, and lemongrass is really good for ticks as well, so ticks is a big thing while camping and out in wilderness, so you can use that for ticks. Um, next thing is sunscreen. So obviously when we're out in sun, even with bug spray, cover up. You know what I mean? We want to be using um, sun um, protection. So we're using sun shirts, like my kids wear water shirts, especially at the beach um, and things like that. If you're going out in the woods, wear socks and shoes and stuff like that. But I make my own sunscreen. Um, and I also use doTERRA's face line and they don't have sunblock in it. And so what I do is I put a little in a jar with me and then this will go in my makeup and then I will add in my own sunblock. Um, and so that is definitely a must too with kids is buying a natural sunblock. And so there are a lot of great ones out there that you can use. You don't have to make your own, um, but it's super fun to make your own. Another thing that I love to bring is the doTERRA hand soap. So this is something that I leave outside on the uh, on the picnic table while camping with our jug of water, with our um, Coleman jug of water. Um, we're constantly washing our hands. Um, and I, you can wash your dis dishes with this, guys. This is like Castile soap, um, fractionated coconut oil, and water. It's what I wash my dishes with at home anyway. So this is a multi-purpose soap. You can even wash your kids with this, um, and it'll be great. You can wash yourself if you didn't bring um, anything else. Another thing that we love is our face wipes. So in the trailer, um, just to wash your face at night, um, just using our own face wipes. So it's easy, you don't have to rinse, you can rinse if you want, um, but I can link this up too, just our own natural face wipes is what we use to wash our face. We use this year round regardless, but during camping season, we use it all the time. And you can use it, even use it for kids, like if their feet are really bad because they're moist, so it's like a little moist talouette kind of thing. Um, another thing that I love to have is our vitamins. So guys, when we're camping, we think that it's all restful and peaceful and blissful, but really we're active. We're, we're exerting a lot of energy. Our kids are always on the go. Um, and we are up late, so we're around, around a campfire at night. So using your Lifelong Vitality supplements, a lot of people don't take them with them while they're on vacation, but reality is it's you need them the most when you go on vacation because um, your systems are all out of whack, you're not getting as much sleep as you normally would. So definitely just keep taking your Lifelong Vitality, your supplements, and Terrazymes are a must. So like I said earlier, when you are camping, you are indulging in delicious, savory food. Um, and a lot of it, we're having heavy, heavy brunches and heavy suppers. So because we are so active, um, so we wanna help our systems digest that food. And if you are not used to having like bacon and eggs and pancakes and all the goodness, uh, and all the cheeses, um, you want to be taking your terrazymes to help break down that food. And especially with dinners, we're having very hearty um, dinners. And so using uh, your terrazymes, you can take uh, one with each meal. So that is kind of, um, just looking over my list, I think, oh, after sun spray. So after sun is also great. Lavender, so using your lavender and peppermint in a spray bottle is great for any um, after sun. So if you did get too much sun, and lavender for bug bites, guys. So if you have any hives, bug bites, applying your lavender is amazing. It's a natural antihistamine. Um, it is great for any burns if you get hit with a sparkler or coals or an amber, or if you hit a grate or anything like that, you're gonna be using your lavender, okay? Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, I will link up a lot of my recipes here for you. Um, and I hope you guys have fantastic time camping.